Good morning, good morning. I am giving everyone a chance to log in. Um, I'll give it a couple of minutes and then we'll get started on our simple social media flyer. Again, I'll give it a couple of minutes. We'll probably start in about two, three minutes. Good morning, good morning. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, again, our um, design for today is recreating a social media flyer. And um, I'm gonna make it as quick as I can. So if you have any more specific questions, um, just let me know, okay? So first thing we're going to do is open up a new, and um, I apologize, I am using um, InDesign, the Creative Suite, um, through Adobe. If you don't have this downloaded or if you're using something similar, um, you can kind of use the same techniques. But um, InDesign is a great program to use. It's through uh, Adobe, the creative software. Um, right now, the cloud is available to you for $49.99 a month. Um, and that includes all of the creative programs um, software. Um, so that's like Photoshop, InDesign, um, Illustrator, um, there's also Lightroom, all sorts of goodies that you get in your package for $49.99. Or if you are a student or a teacher, you get a discounted rate at $19.99 a month. So um, if you need that, I would definitely check out adobe.com and um, subscribe to this software. All right, so we're gonna get started. First thing I'm gonna do is click on new. And this is the option. I'm not going to go all through it. Um, this is the options where you can size up the size of your um, document that you want created. Now, I don't know what size this one is in particular, but I'm going to assume it's a five by seven. Um, so the width, I'll do five inches and seven inches. Um, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I have my phone out by me so I can see the... Um, I can see comments, so just let me know. Anyway, I'm going to do a five by seven and I'll click on OK. So now it's bringing up a blank document that I can see here. And what I like to do is um, if I'm recreating something or I have an idea of what I want uh, it to look like, I'll just bring it in and push it over to the side. So right now what I'll do is I'll place that um flyer that we're kind of recreating on the side and I think I downloaded it and I'll just look for where I downloaded yep this is it I downloaded that document now I've I've only looked at this maybe twice maybe once um, a couple months ago my friend sent it to me and then of course this morning again so um, this is something brand new but we're gonna walk through it together all right so this is it right here on the side Anything on the gray bars is out of the art box um, per se. So anything that's in the white sheet, that's our um, our art board. That's actually going to print and show. Okay, excuse me. That's so gonna um, <clears throat> has got some something crazy going on. All right. So um, first thing that I do is I build from the bottom up. 
So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, find a graphic or a document that has this um, a glitter background and I'm probably going to find one that I already have downloaded. So what I'll do is go to file in place and then I'll search, I think I might have some in my stock photos. Do, 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 do. Yep, found a gold one. So I am going to place that, I'll click on it and then click on open. And that will allow me to place um, that gold there. Now, if you see what I did, I had that document set, uh, selected while I went to place it. And I know a lot of people get confused about that. So I'm just going to go Control Z to undo. And then it allows me to have this in a box right here. So I'll just go and size it up. And it's going to be that, that, um, that large because it's constraining to my box. So what I'll do is pull it down a little bit and then I'll go to file. I'm sorry, I'll go to object fitting fill frame proportionally. So that makes it a little bit bigger. Okay. So that is my background with the glitter. And then to create the black box, again, I'm building from bottom up. So the black box, I'll just go to my rectangle tool and this has a margin here so i'll just go by the margin and make my black area that big okay so i recreated the rectangle right here and then i'll fill that box with a color which i'll use black okay boom there we go so we got our glitter part and we have our black um portion as well so first thing i'll do i'll start from the top i'll add in the logo that you want there so again i'll go to file place and i'll find a logo i'll just use of course lioness design boutique i'll find the um, logo that i want and i have several so i'll just scoot through here Here's the line that i'm looking for my AI. Oh, I don't want that one because it's not going to show. There, I'll use this one because that's that blue and blush color. So I'll just click and drag and make it as large or as small as I want it. So I want it about that size and then boom, it'll populate. I can move it over and I'll actually make it a little bit smaller so I'll constrain it make it a little bit smaller okay so there is my logo and then here we're looking for brand ambassadors actually i am so i might just use this no i'm kidding all right so i just clicked on the text box and again i click and drag however big i want the text box to be and then i'll type in now i am going to type in exactly what we have here and i'll just make it white so i can see what's going on we are looking for brand and okay so it's all lowercase i'm going to highlight highlight all of it click on my align center tool and i'm also going to um, click on all caps because i want it in all caps up there and then I'll toggle through and find a nice font that I want to use. And I think I have one in mind. I love a railway. That's why it's on my favorite. So I'll click on railway. Boom. There we go. And I'll make it a little bit larger. That looks good there. And then, of course, I'll have brand ambassadors on the next line. So I'll backspace, shift, and enter. Okay. So boom, there we go. There's that portion. And I'll just bring this bounding box up a little bit. And then here is a little stroke line um, that I'll add in and I'll probably make it the color of my glitter box in the back. So I'll click on this line tool, shift, hold down and make it as long or as short as I want it. 
and then I'll grab my eyedropper and click on there. Ooh. Make sure it's on stroke. There we go. And then click on it again. There we go. So I now have my gold bar here. And when I go back, um, I'll make sure that everything is is aligned and centered and I'll show you how to do that as well all right but I'm just kind of just putting all of the information on here so again I'll click on my text box and drag out that other box for we are on the hunt part and then type it in and again I like to see what I'm typing so I'll turn it to white And then I'll just type in everything here. Simply, and I am like copying everything. You know what? I'm not gonna type that part simply. I'll just uh, put in the hashtags up a notch and uh, the uh, slayer. So again, you can type in that other stuff right there, but I'm not going to go through that. So I'll make that um, all caps again, and I'll change the font to railway, and I'll go back in and center it. And then say I want um, that gold color, I'll go in and sample that color um, on here. Now this, if you notice, it changed my stroke to the gold. So what I'll do is... Uh, on my swatches palette I'll just switch that there's a small arrow you can see that it fills in the stroke there so if you click on both it'll switch back and forth so I want that gold to be um, my text oops four okay so I'll make this a little bit larger so you can increase your text right here and I don't want it hyphenated And then to make those spaces in between each line tighter, we can go um, to this le leading um, option is over here and then make it a little bit smaller. So it'll come together a little bit more. Okay, so I, since I'm not putting as much text, I can kind of move it around, make it um, flow a little bit better. So I shift selected Add those two, and then minus, I'll just pull it down a little bit, okay? So that's the gist of it. Now what I'm gonna do is click and grab both of those boxes, the gold and the black one, and then I want to lock them because I'm gonna make a few changes and I don't want those things to get in my way, okay? So again, I shift and um, selected both of those and then hit on lock. Next, I will select all of this stuff right here because I want to make sure it's centered, okay? So the next thing that I'll click on is the um, tool up here that has a line horizontal. So everything's going to be on that middle axis, okay? So I clicked on it and everything is lined up correctly. And then just make sure that it is in there and it looks good okay so that's pretty much it I kind of recreated this um, social media flyer over here and if I click on if I don't have anything selected and I click on the letter W on my keyboard I can see what it actually is going to look like um, once it's saved okay and also, my gold looks a little bit pixelated. I know it's not because it's a high quality uh, image that I downloaded. Um, so I'll click on view, display performance, and I'll display it as high quality so I can actually see how it looks. So it'll take a minute and then you can see it clears up a little bit better, okay? 
So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, from here, what I'll do is file, save, and then I'll uh, save it into a um, folder or wherever you want to on um, social media flyer for brand ambassadors. Okay, so to save as your InDesign file first. And then what I like to do is I go back and export it, file export as a ping file. So it's going to go back to my same um, folder that I saved the original and then make sure your format is clicked on PNG or again, you can save it as a PDF or a JPEG. Um, I like to use ping files, so I save it as a ping there and then click on save. Make sure that your um, file name is still the same as well. And resolution, you can, um, sometimes I do use 150, most of the time 300 because I want it that clear, crisp um, resolution. And of course, the higher quality, um, the higher resolution, the higher quality. So export. And that is it. So I will actually go on our group right now. I'm going to change my... Um, change my screen here and then I'll go into Facebook and post this so you can see how it shows up on social media increasing profits through graphic design and then I'll add it here upload social media King file open boom here we go thanks for joining me voila and there we go thank you all for joining me on today I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, let me know if you have any questions and hopefully I'll be doing things like this um, hopefully about once a week, maybe once every other week to kind of get your feet wet and um, have some ideas out there. All right. You guys have a great day. Thank you.